So this is where we left off in our next uh, last video where I talked about the coordinate systems and at the end of this video I'm just going to draw multiple cubes with different textures and different rotations and translations so okay let's change it back to video 2 and first of all I'm going to comment this out and just delete this line okay and we will have just the view times the projection not the model view projection so vp uh, and view times the projection and this changed to vp lock this changed to vp and uh, this change to VP log and this change to VP. So, and in the vertex shader, I'm going to change this to VP and create a, a separate model matrix uniform met for model. And uh, change this and let's multiply the model times the vertex positions and this times the uh, view projection. Okay, that's all I think for the vertex shader and uh, let's create a for loop or well, first of all let's get the model's location model matrix location so model uh, underscore lock and equal to the let's copy this shader and model Okay, we are getting the model location and now just create a for loop for let's say I in range. I need cube positions so I'm going to just copy from my tester file this line and uh, for I in range with the length of cube underscore positions yes to send down the GL uniform matrix for FV to the model location model location and yeah mm -hmm. and I'm going to create it here with the cube positions positions at I and send down here the model and let 
let's see what we have. Uh huh. So now, as you see, the first cube is at position one zero zero. So this is this, this cube, the biggest. The next cube is at two on x. 5 on y and negative 15 on the z which is this far this small cube here the third cube is negative 1.5 on the x negative 1.2 on the y and negative 2.5 on the z which is this cube and the last cube is this negative 8.8 on the x and negative 2 on the y and negative 12.3 on the z so now let's copy this line second cube positions and uncomment or comment this out the first so let's see what we have now we have six cubes <clears throat> let's move the view a little bit back so minus four so how to how to create different rotations for all those cubes so uh, okay let's create an if statement here in in the for loop so if i is let's say less than two which is the first two cubes or 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 or, or. Mm. first of all let's create those rotation matrices so rot let's say x is equal to the matrix 44 that create from x rotation create from x rotation and let's create a time which is glf dot get time or I think it's get underscore time yes get time so the first cube will be let's say time times two mm -hmm. then create another two rotations on, on the y and on the z-axis rotation y rotation y and rotation z rotation z and let's change it just a little bit so this will be times 0 0.5 and this will be just the time okay so now <clears throat> we have the cube positions and uh, now we are going to create that if statement so if i is less than let's say two then we are going to create uh, rot uh, 
let's say rot x and it will be equal to the matrix 44 that multiply multiply yes the rotation x rotation underscore x with the model and just send down this to the vertex shader and here change this model to rotation x okay now let's see what we have uh -huh. okay so now create an ellipse statement so elif i is let's say equal to the two or i is equal to three let's copy this and this will be the rotation y with big y change this to rotation y and this to rotation y let's see mm -hmm. these two cubes are rotating around the x-axis and these two cubes are rotating around around the y-axis now let's create a z rotation and this will be the else uh, let me copy this and the rotation z multiply rotation rot z uniform no okay, no 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 and copy this here so let's see yes we have six cubes two of them are rotating on the x two of them are rotating on the y and two of them are rotating on the z axis so let's make it even more interesting and uh, for that i'm going to import from mat from mat import the sign function okay i'm gonna collapse these and these and the shaders and let's 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 let modulate this with the sine function so sine of time times two uh -huh. as you see these two cubes are rotating backward and forward on the x-axis and let's change their textures too so i'm gonna just rename it to create oh uh, copy this paste paste and this will be the the second will be the let's say metal metal change this to metal and the last will be the brick brick texture brick and this to brick now all those will have the brick texture yes 
which means we we need here to bind those textures so gl bind texture gl bind texture gl texture 2d gl texture underscore 2d oh no 2d and uh, this will be the crate let's copy this and for the second and the third it will be let's say the metal and for the last two it will be the brick uh, let me see yes it was easy <laughs> Let's make a, a third. Oh, third cube positions. So control C and control V. Let's uncomment this. So now it's much more interesting the scene. We have different rotations and translations for every two cube and different textures. So it will be nice to have some kind of selection of mouse picking and I, I already started to <clears throat> think about how to do this ray picking with the mouse sometime in the future <laughs> I'm maybe I'm gonna uh, do tutorial on that topic too so Thank you for watching.